This is the weather forecast video for Thursday, April the 26th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, some scattered complexes of thunderstorms across the Ohio Valley and into the east, and a big system over the west that will be coming our way over Friday and into Saturday. Watch warning map from a little before midnight, some frost and freeze watches, warnings, and advisories along the northern tier, a severe thunderstorm watch through the morning hours in west central and southwestern Illinois, and the rest of the nation is fairly quiet. The QBF chart doesn't look very quiet, though, with the precipitation here through Monday evening at 7 o'clock. Across our state, about maybe a half to maybe an inch and a half of rain, with the heaviest over the Dakotas and Nebraska, where there could be some thunderstorms. So let's take a look at these thunderstorms and other storms with the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. A bit of a ridge over the west, but unfortunately, the high pressure that's well up to our north is going to be coming southward and temperatures will be cooler. No record highs, no 80s, no 90s. Looking more like 60s to maybe around 70. And then here comes the storm. Friday, increasing clouds, showers, embedded thunderstorms. Temperatures will be hovering in the 50s. There could be some upper 40s. And Saturday still looks like rain and highs in the 40s to around 50. Friday night into Saturday morning, there could be a wet snowflake, but it's very isolated. Passing by that and on to Sunday, it, that system clears out, but there's still moisture just to our south and west. But temperatures are only going to rebound into the upper 50s to low 60s. Monday, another system comes through with more showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two as readings climb back into the 60s to lower 70s across the area. Tuesday the system just bogs down and we got showers around and some sunshine, some clouds, some rain and temperatures a few degrees either side of 70. Same thing goes for Wednesday. Some isolated showers and maybe a thunderstorm but it doesn't look like an all day rain and Highs in the upper 60s to maybe low to mid 70s. And even a week from today, on May 3rd, the flow is a little flat with a pretty good system coming into the Pacific Northwest. But around here, we just have a storm system that's kind of bogged down and has some little bit of moisture coming up from the Gulf and temperatures around 70 couple days later, on May 7th, we have a trough over the west and a trough over New England and a ridge in the middle. And with that, we have a storm over the plains that will be gathering some strength there. And the gulf will be wide open, so we could see some showers if this is right along a warm front. A few days later on the 10th, that front will come in. With the cold front will come in with some showers and maybe thunderstorms, maybe some severe weather, but we have to wait and see on that. And at the end of the forecast on the twelfth, uh, we have a pretty much a zonal flow and a bit of a ridge over the south and east, but quick moving storms, some shower storms, pretty much a May type pattern with rainy weather, which is needed across the state. So thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one on Friday.